Okay, here's the last two parts here. We just figured out um, what the range was and what they, in order to get the range, they were really asking what's the turning point and then you could do the range. So you had to kind of know that. This next equation is write down the equation of G of this line. We, we, they've told us that it goes through the point minus 2 and 4. But, gee, we don't know D. We haven't figured it out. But can we figure out D? It's the y-intercept of both functions, f and g. Well, gee, we've got this right here. We can find the y-intercept of the parabola. We just put in 0 for x. So we've got the point 0 and 6. Well, do you know that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus c? And we know that d is the y-intercept. We can just put <coughs> c in there for the y-intercept. We can put 6 in there. Now we've got a point, minus 2 and 4. We substitute that point in there. That's how we do it. We let x equals minus 2. We let y equals 4. Like when, when we were finding the um, axis of symmetry for the hyperbola, we just substituted in the where the... Um, asymptotes crossed. Anyways, if we substitute in that point right in there, now we just solve. We get minus 2m. Take away 6 from both sides. It's minus 2. So m equals 1. Well, that's a nice easy number. y equals 1x plus 6. That's the equation of g. And now they ask kind of a weird question for me. What's the average gradient between the points a and d? And I guess <clears throat> they want you to know that we just did that. It's only one mark, but we just figured out the equation of the line. And the number that sits in front of x, that is the, the gradient. We did the gradient. Um, <clears throat> when we found the equation of the line, we figured out the gradient. You could put 0 and 6 and minus 2 and 4, if you wanted, into the gradient formula and you'd get 1. But you, you wouldn't want to do all that work because you've just you've done it when you found the equation of the line. The gradient is 1. And there you go.